Hey guys, my name is Ari. Welcome to the new episode of EnterMedSchool.com's free IMOD course. Today I would like to talk about the molar concepts. But before I begin, I would like to encourage you to go to EnterMedSchool.com and to download the 90 days free IMOD course. Because in this video, I'm only recapping and give you some tips and solving some IMOD questions and give you some tips in order to actually study for the IMOD but I'm not going to introduce you the study material from scratch. So make sure to study by yourself the study material before you watch my videos, so you will be able to actually understand the tips I'm going to give you and to understand how to solve the IMAT questions I'm going to solve on the board right away. As you know, one mole equals to 6.02 a lot of numbers times 10 to the 23. It means if you have a dozen from something, you have 12 from that something. But if you have a mole from that something, you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 of that something. This is easy and you should know it now by heart. Let's try to solve a very simple question to actually understand the basics. What is the mass of one mole, single mole of H2O, which is of course water? Using the periodic table, which I will talk about in the next video or the other videos, you will have to memorize several atoms, mass, molar mass, oxidation state, and a lot of other stuff I'm going to actually introduce to you in later videos. But today you are going to have to memorize the masses for one mole of each of those atoms and a lot of different atoms I'm going to mention in other videos. So today we are going to actually solve for H2O. H2O. One hydrogen equals one gram per mole, about one gram per mole. So we have two hydrogens, it means we have two. If we had H2, for example, and we wanted to know, for example, how many grams will be in one mole of H2, it means we will have two grams in one mole, because you have H2. But if we, for example, wanted to know how many grams will we get from one mole from oxygen, which is O2, we will actually have to take his mass, which is 16, multiply by 2, and then to get 32. You get the number, which is grams per mole. So one mole 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles of O2 will weight 32 grams. This is a very simple concept and you should memorize it by heart because it, this is the basic for chemistry and for the IMAT itself. You will see how many questions in the chemistry, on the chemistry subject you have that are so easy, you will be surprised to actually solve them on the IMAT. You can they can be solved in like 15 seconds if you know exactly what to do. So let's go, let's dive in into the question. What is the mass of one mole of high, what is the mass of one mole of water? So we have, like we said before, we have two hydrogens and one oxygen. So 2 plus 16 equals 18 and we have 18 grams per one mole of oxygen, of water, sorry. So if we have 18 grams of one mole of water, how do we convert it back? And how do we actually can answer those questions using different methods? If you have, for example, the number of particles, you will be able to convert them to the number of moles. If you, and if you have the number of moles, you will be able to convert it to the number of grams you have. And if you have the number of grams, you will be able to convert it the number of particles and for the moles. So make sure to understand the concept of actually how to convert units from number of particles to number of moles and for the amount of grams of mass you actually have. So if you want to sum it up very quickly, you have this triangle and we can say number of moles, which we'll abbreviate as n, small n, and you have number of grams and we have an actual amount of particles, we will abbreviate it as, let's say, P. So how do we go from number of moles to number of grams? We will have to calculate the molecular mass and multiply it by the number of moles in order to get 4 grams. But how do we convert from number of moles 
to a number of particles. We will have to take the number of moles and to convert it back by 6.02 times to the 10, 10 to the 23 times 6.02 times to the 10 to the 23 in order to get the number of particles we actually have inside the, what we are looking for. And on the IMAT, how do you actually go and calculate the number of grams? We will go, usually, it's very fast, we will go from the number of particles, which on the IMAT will usually be something that divides or multiplies very easily by this number. They will give you probably 6 to the 23, so it will be very easy to actually calculate it. We, the most easiest and safest way to actually go back from number of particles to amount of grams is to go for a number of moles and to go for amount of grams. I wouldn't suggest you to actually go from grams to number of particles from several ways because of several ways. One of them which you can easily miss a number on the way and usually on the IMAT they play with the numbers so we, you will maybe have like you have 6 to the 24 amount of particles which, we, which mean we have not 1 mole, we have 10 moles and then you will have to actually take the molecular mass let's say for example we have 18 grams per mole and you will, be need, you will need to actually multiply 18 by 10 and to get how many grams you have in 10 moles of H2O 18 by 10 equals 180 grams and this is what they usually do on the IMAT so make sure you follow the rules and to actually use the triangle of actually converting moles using the longer way other than the short way so I'm going to answer another question on the IMAT to give you an actual another way, another concept of actually how to solve those kind of questions. By the way, on the next video, we are going to actually take the molar concept and to actually see how we are going to solve equation, chemical balancing equation, and actually see how we can take the molar concept and easily use it in order to solve chemical equations on the IMAT and in general. So the next question will be a great example of actually how to go the other way around and to get the number of moles from the number of the questions. So how many moles are in 2.35 grams of H2O? The first thing you always need to do is to know what is the molecular mass of the molecule you are presented with. So H2O, like we said in the previous question, is 18 grams per mole. But we, hold, we only have 2.35 grams of H2O, which means we have to use the following method and to actually divide the amount we actually have by the amount of a single mole equals to which is 18 and we get 0 0.13 but the number we get is moles we have 0. Point, we have 0.13 moles of H2O and 13 moles of H2O equals to 2.35 grams of water. So let's go the other way around and to solve this question again. How many moles are in this amount, this amount in grams of H2O? In order to solve, to convert grams to moles, we have to take the molecular mass of the molecule you are presented with and to divide it by the amount we actually have. We have to take the amount we actually have and so to divide it by the amount, the mass, the molecular mass we have because the actual grams divided by the molecular mass will give you the number of moles which leads us back to the number of moles and you can take this 0.18 which will be equal to 2.35 grams which will be equal to if we multiply it let's say they ask you how many particles are there in 2.35 grams of H2O we will take the amount of moles 
which is 0 0.13 and we will multiply it by 6.02 times 10 to the 23 which is Avogadro numbers which is one mole how many particles inside one mole so 0 0.3, 0 0.13 times Avogadro number will give you the number of particles 2.35 grams of water has this video was a very general concept it's a very easy concept you have to study by heart in order to solve molar concept on the IMAT because they can give you a very easy question and if you use the triangle method, you are going to solve it very, very quickly and easily. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you on the next lesson which will be uploaded tomorrow. So make sure to subscribe and like this video and comment your questions below. Bye.